So my message to the course community this year is the following. You are the Christ. You are the Son of God. Let's give gratitude to our brother that came before us, the man known as Jesus, who has become the physical representation of God's Holy Spirit, God's memory on this earth 2,000 years ago, who is now the Christ mind, the awakened part of our immortal reality. Remember that everyone you look upon is either a decision for right-mindedness or wrong-mindedness. Choose again. You are the decision maker. You have the memory of God, in God as God's Holy Spirit residing in the essence of yourself, in your temple, which you dedicate to God as the heart space. It's simply awareness. You have the inheritance, the right to choose right-mindedness. See your brother as the Christ. See the Christ in everyone. Choose to see everyone as the Christ. It's a decision that you have to make all the time. The knowledge of the world is pointless. The challenges of the world are purposeful. Because it, it calls us, Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit calls us from within ourselves, calls from within the darkest part of the ego. And it's the ego that goes in search of. Ego is simply a construct of ideas and thoughts and beliefs, the, the attachment to this body-mind identity. And yet you are beyond that. You are the enlightening of the self. What is enlightenment? But a recognition of the self, the holy self you are that which is the essential nature made from the same essence as your creator. Be that knowingly. And choose to serve knowing that, being that knowingly. Choose to see the face of Christ and all, not at your expense. To thyself always be true. And from that self, pour yourself passionately enthusiastically into your creation. Choose to serve passionately. Don't detach from the world. You don't light a candle and hide it in a cupboard. You light the candle and put it in the darkest room. Be the light of the world here now. Be as you are. Don't try and be like anyone else. Don't try and be holy. There's enough self-righteousness in the world. There's enough preachers on a pedestal, on a, on a street corner, shouting out hell and damnation and that you are set free by the death and the crucifixion and the sacrifice of God's son. God's son is you. And the part of you came down and represented you as the Christ, as Jesus the Christ, who became symbolically the Holy Spirit, the memory of God on this earth, and showed us a better way to be. He showed us how to act from a place of love. Be that knowingly. Nothing is going to save you but the memory of God, which resides within you as the voice for God. Choose to be that. Don't wait upon salvation. Be salvation. Be now the salvation of this world. And you cannot be it by changing the body-mind dynamics of the world, but becoming the self here now. Be the light. Don't try and change the darkness. Be the light that there, that, so that there is no darkness. You cannot fix the world. You cannot heal body-mind. Healing, the miracle is simply making the, bringing through the recognition that there is no body-mind. That there is simply mind within mind, the self, the holy self, the holy son of God awakening to itself, realizing it traveled on a journey that never existed, never left its home, never went to anywhere, but back to where it always has been. And everything in between never happened, but appeared real and called forth for us to act so that we could recognize that none of it is true. 
And the only thing that is true is our self, our divine self, our holy son of God self. You are the love of God. You are the extension, which is the love of God. The sonship is the awake love and light in God. One son fell asleep and dreamt of an entire universe with nine septillion beings and eight billion of them projected onto this plane called Earth. Don't write off the world as an illusion. Don't denounce the world. Yes, all life is suffering. Suffering can be overcome. To overcome suffering, you've got to go within. There is a path, and each one is called. Don't denounce paths. Don't attack other religions. Don't attack other ways. Don't attack anyone. The suppressed hidden dream, the guilt within, projected outwards, then gets attacked upon it or attacks you. Comes as attack thoughts in the middle of the night when there's no vigilance of awareness. Don't be that. Be as you are. Be the holy self. Choose to remember, I am. You have a symbol. You have someone pointing the way in the course, Jesus, who becomes Christ, Christ Jesus. You have the memory of God within you, invited knowingly in your Holy Spirit, God's Holy Spirit within you. And don't forget your source, God, our Father. Not a man, not a being, but the essence of life itself, the essence which lives in you and allows everything in this universe to appear to be real. Because the very essence of it is the memory of God. Life is eternal. Etern eternity is love. You are love. But while you appear in form, choose to be the light of the world by acting passionately, pushing yourself into your creation. Serve in the way that ser serves you best. Whether you be the artist, the musician, the policeman, the managing director, whether you be the Course in Miracles teacher, the therapist, the ambulance driver, the politician, the social worker, be as you are. Don't give up your job and go and shave your head and work in a soup kitchen unless you love soup and you love serving soup. It's, Jesus said, I seek mercy, not sacrifice in the Bible. Therefore, I seek forgiveness, not sacrifice. Come to me as little children, meaning come to me innocent, free of the idea of guilt, sin, and fear. Know that that's, that, that emptiness inside all of us, that emptiness is actually the suppressed hidden guilt. We fell asleep, forgot what we were, imagined something created us. We gave that idea God believed that we had sinned, done something wrong, weren't good enough, weren't worthy, were rejected, not good enough, abandoned, and then feared that something would punish us. And that we replicate every single day through every incarnation, and we do it here and now, over and over again. We fall asleep, we wake up in the morning, we live in three states, awake, dreaming, and deep sleep. And we don't realize that it replicates life itself as above, so below. Awake, we seem to be awake. We fall asleep and dream. We wake up and there was a missing moment, deep sleep. Why deep sleep? Because deep sleep, our soul, the essence of ourself, the fractured self, the fractured sun, connects and reconnects and recharges in God. And so in the limit, limited mind, we cannot remember the limitlessness of God. And so we call deep sleep nothing. And yet that's where reality really happens. And yet we're meant to be knowingly ourselves. You cannot transcend this world. You cannot you know, escape the dream until the entire dream ends. No dreamer escapes the dream, but escapes the illusion of the dream when it moves into the right mindedness, into the Christ mind. Choose to be that here now. Don't wait for death because you cannot escape life through death. You are life, and death will not end the idea of illusion. If you leave this world, in other words, die, body, mind, you will return unless you have no longer attached to any of it. That doesn't mean detached from it. It means non-attached to it, still connected to everything because everything happens in your dreaming mind. Yes, the world is an illusion, but it doesn't make the experience any less real.
Don't detach from it. When you're called to act from a place of love, make sure it comes from love, not from fear, not from vengeance, not from pity, not from doubt, not from sadness, not from depression, not from I give up. But act from a place of love and be that knowingly. Stand your truth rightfully, authentically. Bring justice into this world. And what is justice? Unconditional love of God. The acceptance of all, as is, without the need to change any of it. You want to change the world, be that knowingly. Be the light which brings about the awareness of light in all of us. If there's something in the world you think you need to fix, it's because there's something inside here that needs to be fixed. If you see the world attacking and you see that attack as something against you, then realize it's in you coming back at you. It's your projection because of your perception coming back at you to show you it's all you. But when you have an attack and you just act from a place of love and you act from a place of forgiveness, then it's no longer you and you become the light which changes the attack. And that attacking being has a cha- as an opportunity to accept the love of God, to accept the love of Christ himself, or to move away and remove themselves from your love and light awareness. But don't try and change it. Don't try and destroy it. Don't try and get rid of anything. See it. Do not take the world seriously. Be in the world, not of it. Nothing in this world will save you. Nothing in this world will give you the eternal peace, love, and joy which are concessions to that which is God. Words, concessions, words are but symbols twice removed. You are that which is the love of God. You are that which I am. The I am in me is the I am in you. Let this be the year where we don't stand back and criticize the virus, the governments, the politicians, the Fauci's of this world. Where does the vaccine come from? Who created the virus? Who did what and when? Forget about that. Don't take it seriously. Act from a place of love. When you take the vaccine or not take the vaccine, it's from a place of love. Do not criticize those who have or haven't. They're acting from a place of fear or a place of love. They both, both sides want to do the best they can. Step above the battlefield. None of it's real. If you have to take it, take it from a place of love and bring love and light into it. The vaccine cannot harm the son of God. And if it's your time to go, then go willingly and go as quickly as you can and step into the light. But do that without any more attachment to this world. No one comes into physical form and will live forever in physical form because that which lives forever is not in form, but that which is. And you all know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. I'm just regurgitating it in my own obscure, strange South African way. Be as you are. You are exactly what and who you're meant to be. Don't look in the mirror and criticize. If you want to change that body-mind perception, start with changing the perception. Realize everything that is given you, especially the horrible, tough, shitty stuff, is given you so that you can find another way, that you eventually get to the point where you say, there must be another way. When you surrender your ideas and your pursuits and say, show me. Show me another way. Holy Spirit, invite Holy Spirit in. Show me another way. You have a mighty companion that goes with you everywhere. The Christ is always with you. And if symbolically you choose to see it as Jesus, see it as Jesus. Not as a man, but as the light of awareness. The very highest self that you are and can be in this lifetime. But that you already are. You've never left. God's kingdom. You are the son he loves. You are the son who can never change in reality. Let this be a year where you passionately apply yourself lovingly, not begrudgingly find fault with the world and spend hours talking about complaining about what's wrong with the world, the governments, and whatever's going wrong with it. The son of God cannot be killed. You know this. This body-mind temporal vessel is just like a monopoly piece on a board and eventually this too shall pass but do not let it pass without awakening to the awareness of what you are or you will come back and do it all over again no matter how much you say you don't want to come back 
coming back is not a choice. Coming back is a level of awareness where you realize there's nothing to come back to. This world is meant to show you the love you are or meant to trap you in the idea that nothing is loving. And if this is real, guilt is real. And if guilt is real, sin is fear, real. And if sin is real, fear is real. And if fear is real, God is not. And this body mind is. And this body mind dies, which means not even God can save it. That is not the truth. And you know that. Your immortal reality is I am. I am that I am. I am that. And I will forever be that, which is the love of God. Be that. You don't have to be special, or holy, a vegetarian or a vegan. Of course, those things change as you progress into the light of awareness. You may not want to eat meat anymore. You may not want to eat anything who gives birth to young. Maybe you don't even want to eat fish or chicken. It's your choice, but don't judge any of it. You'll want to live a healthier way. You'll want to be more loving, kinder. You'll want to spend longer time, periods of time alone in contemplation, meditation, prayer. But don't force your ideas and ideologies upon others. There's nothing special about the course. What's special is the fact that you've chosen it as a path to remembrance. And it's special only because it's special for you. This is a year of applying ourselves abundantly, passionately, willing God's will be done. Lead us not into the temptation of buying into this dream as anything real. Because the power and the glory are God's alone, now and forever. And you know this. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. But let this be a reminder. Passionately share yourself with everything. That's my will for you this year. Be knowingly that which you are. Have a wonderful year and look forward to seeing you again. Blessings.